Hey everyone, I'm that one guy for never. In my last video, I showed you how to find seven OP statues, which unlocks the god tier new mutation called Rascal Rogue. Today, we're gonna take that one step further by diving deep into Grounded's new stealing mechanic and discuss how it's going to absolutely change this game's meta. In a nutshell, this can be broken down into two components. The first is stealing on melee hits and the second is increasing rare drops. Stealing on melee hits is linked to both the mutation Rascal Rogue as well as the new trinket Sticky Fingers. Here's how you get them. As I mentioned, you unlock all three ranks of Rascal Rogue by finding the new seven statues. You can check above for my last video if you need help with that. The Sticky Fingers trinket can be found inside of the first open drawer of the toolbox and obtained by blowing it up with bomb arrows. It has to be bomb arrows, guys, as the requirement is a tier 3 explosive. Don't make my mistake. Now that you have these two, here's how they work. Each of these by themselves are going to give you a set percentage chance to steal a bonus item with each melee attack. Yes, it has to be melee. Ranged unfortunately does not work, and that means bows, crossbows, staves, and bombs. Now each item by itself has a limit, you can only steal one bonus item, but if you have both on, you can steal two bonus items. As for the percentage chance of stealing with either, or even more importantly combined, well that's clear as mud. I think we're going to need a data miner to know the true numbers, but this is what I found with my tests by fighting the mantis over a hundred times. Yeah I know, I must love you guys. Using just Rascal Rogue, my chance of stealing was right around 15% per hit, and I could only steal one item. Using just the Sticky Fingers Trinket, my chance of stealing was around 10% per hit, and again I could only steal one item. Where things get really interesting is when I used both. By combining the two, I was then able to steal two items, but I found that the odds are different for the first item and the second item you steal. The first item, I had right around 23% chance on each hit to get that first item. The second item dropped to around 14% chance on each hit. Now I need to give credit where credit's due. My man Paralyzer originally theorized this might happen. We were chatting and he predicted that after stealing your first item, the game would no longer take your first perk into account, which explains why the percentage drops. Thank you Paralyzer for your input. Please give the man some love and check his channel out. He does an absolutely phenomenal job at figuring out this game's mechanics. So that's stealing on melee hit. You should use both the mutation and the trinket to maximize how many items you can steal and your odds at stealing it. If farming is your sole goal, you should also try to use a fast weapon that does relatively light damage. The more hits you do, the better your odds are of stealing twice. Personally, I really like using the Widow Dagger for this role. It's extremely fast, does light damage per hit even on tier 2 enemies, allowing you to almost every time without fail steal twice. My Poison Widow build makes great use of this weapon. Now there's lots of other good options, this isn't a one size fits all, so use what you like, but what I would avoid doing is using extremely hard hitting weapons like the Club of the Mother Demon, Fire Ant Club, Sour Battle Axe, and so on. These are going to kill most enemies in very few hits, which is going to dramatically lower your odds. The second part of stealing is increasing rare drops. This part is linked to the new mutation Dissection Expert, as well as a new furniture mechanic called Loot Luck. To unlock Dissection Expert, you'll first need to find the new Burgle Chip hidden in the Brawny Boy Bin, which is in the Wiffle Ball below the new Field Station. Take that to Burgle so you can then buy this mutation in the shop. Loot Luck is a little simpler. Introduced in this update, when you interact with a stuffed bug trophy, you'll gain a 15 minute buff that sizably increases your chance of obtaining rare drops when both stealing and looting bugs. By themselves are pretty good, however, by combining Loot Luck and Dissection Expert, this causes a very high increase in rare drops. I'll show you how this works by killing four ladybirds in two different ways. In the first test, I used Rascal Rogue and Sticky Fingers to allow me to steal two items, but I used none of the luck bonuses for rare drops. The results were that I obtained eight ladybird shells in total. I stole a total of eight times, that's two per times four ladybirds, which is 
is as many as is possible, but only three of those eight were ladybird shells, the rare drop. The rest were common drops. On a separate test, everything the same, except this time I also had Dissection Expert on and activated Loot Luck rubbing a Ladybird statue. This time, I obtained 14 total Ladybird shells. I stole 8 times, again the max possible. 7 out of 8 times, I stole Ladybird shells. This means I at least doubled my odds of stealing a rare drop on each attempt. But even accounting for the 4 extra Ladybird shells I stole, I still netted 2 extra thanks to the Mutation Dissection Expert, which boosted the number of rare drops I got when looting those defeated enemies. So what does that mean? That means to get the absolute most out of the stealing mechanics, you need to have both stealing perks, Rascal Rogue and Sticky Fingers, as well as both rare drop perks, Dissection Expert and Loot Luck to maximize your results. Each perk is good on its own, but it's downright absurd when combined. At minimum, this should cut your farming down in half. But wait, there's more. Now if you thought this couldn't get any better, you're in for a treat. By incorporating save scumming, you can very easily farm the rarest resources in the game, like trinkets. This includes the two new ones, the Volatile Fang, as well as the Speed Droplet. But this also means you can easily get the boss trinkets, like the Broodmother, Wasp Queen, and yes, even the Mantis. I actually stole 11 Mantis trinkets while testing out all of these numbers. Let me put it to you in another way. I average stealing a mantis trinket on one out of nine attempts. One out of nine. That's hell a lot better than their normal rate of 1%. Here's how you do it. Set yourself up as close as you safely can to the enemy you're trying to farm. Make sure you equip and activate all the stealing items I covered. Rascal Rogue, Sticky Fingers, Dissection Expert, and ideally you place and interact with a matching stuff bug trophy of whatever you're trying to farm for loot luck. The trophy isn't necessary, but it really helps cut down the grind, so just bite the bullet and get it set up. Once you have everything on and you've interacted with the trophy, make a save. Now all you have to do is attack the enemy until you've stolen two items. If you don't like what you got, simply hit start and reload your save. Repeat this until you get your desired drop. It's that easy, guys. Repeat this process for as many enemies as you want. Now stealing may get nerfed, so I suggest you take advantage of how game breaking it is while you can. But even if it gets nerfed, stealing has undeniably changed the meta of this game. Our lives have been made a lot easier and that's a great thing. For those of you that follow my channel, I just want to give you another heads up. My plan is to start covering The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom shortly after it releases on May 12th. I know it's a different console entirely, but I do this for fun guys. Don't worry, I know I'll be back grounded to just that great of a game. Until then, keep your eyes peeled because I plan to roll out even more grounded content. See you all next time.